Across central Hampshire, Winchester, Altford and Chandler's Ford, this is 107.2 with FM. It's 12 o'clock, I'm William Broom. The father of Holly Wells is backing the beleaguered Humberside police chief. David Westwood's locked in a row with the Home Secretary, who's ordered his suspension over the Soham murders. Now Kevin Wells has told a newspaper it would be a travesty if the chief constable lost his job. He says he's shocked the inquiry into the murders of Holly and Jessica has become a political issue. Forty people have been killed in the latest violence in Iraq. With a few days to the handover of power, a mosque in the town of Pillar has been targeted by car bombers. Now Al-Qaeda is threatening to behead three hostages from Turkey if troops aren't pulled out of the Gulf. George W. Bush is in Istanbul for talks over NATO's involvement in Iraq. Middle East expert Ahmed Khalidi isn't holding out much hope for the captives. I think the Turks are likely to pursue the same line as everybody else has to say that we will not submit to terrorism. My guess is that their fate will probably be no different from those who have gone before. This is part of the general strategy of Al-Qaeda. Lee Chapman, the husband of TV star Leslie Ash, has been arrested and bailed over an allegation of assault by his wife's sister. It's reported Debbie Ash is claiming the former footballer battered her after a birthday party at a London bar in June 2001. The 44-year-old will have to return to a police station in late July. The poor give more money to charity than those who are well off. People in council houses in Sunderland, Blackpool and Motherwell are apparently the most charitable. Amanda Dalou of the Giving Campaign says it's never been easier to make a donation. You could give through just giving on the street, but far better is to plan your giving, where you actually sit down and perhaps write out a direct debit to the charity of your choice. You can leave a legacy when you write your will. You can ask your employer whether they offer something called payroll giving. Uh, the most common of this is um, give as you earn. More people are taking the bus in Hampshire. Figures show there were an extra 110 million journeys by passengers in Britain last year. It's part of a trend showing numbers have increased by nearly 5% since 1999. Cancer services in Hampshire are set for a major boost. A unique triathlon event is being staged in Winchester today to help raise cash to pay for a new support centre at Southampton General. Connie McConaughey from Macmillan Cancer says there's a lot on offer. Be lots of music and we'll have, if you stick around for the day, hamburgers, veggie burgers, even a cold beer probably. <laughs> and we're hoping for a hot day. And two ticket holders share the weekend's main lotto jackpot of £15 million. The winning numbers are, and I'm going to read them out once, so do listen carefully. They are 16, 21, 24, 28, 31 and 33. And the all-important bonus ball is three. Win FM News, it's three minutes past twelve. <laughs> 